In this video, we will derive the quadratic formula. We will start with the standard form of a quadratic equation and solve for x using the method of completing the square. To complete the square, the leading coefficient must be 1. So, we start by dividing each term in the equation by the leading coefficient. Then, we move the constant term to the right side of the equation. Since it is positive on the left side, it will become negative on the right side. Next, find half of the coefficient of x and square it. Remember, dividing by 2 is equivalent to multiplying by 1 half. Now, multiply across. Squaring these gives us b squared over 4a squared, right? Then, add this value to both sides of the equation. This addition transforms the left side of the equation into a perfect square trinomial. Next, rewrite this trinomial as a binomial square, which will be x plus b over 2a squared. The number in the binomial corresponds to half of the coefficient of x in the perfect square trinomial. On the right side, add the fractions. Notice that adding negative c over a is the same as subtracting c over a. To get a common denominator, multiply c over a by 4a over 4a. This gives us 4ac over 4a squared. Now that we have a common denominator, we can combine the numerators, which will be b squared minus 4ac. Next, take the square root of both sides. Do not forget the plus or minus sign here. We can simplify the right side of the equation. In the denominator, the square root of 4a squared is 2a, right? Finally, solve for x by subtracting b over 2a from both sides. This is equivalent to moving it to the right side. Since it is positive on the left side, it becomes negative on the right side, right? As you can see, both fractions have the same denominator, so we can combine the numerators. This gives us the quadratic formula. If you want to learn how to solve quadratic equations with the quadratic formula, please check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below.